Welcome back. It may be Halloween, but it's never too early to start thinking about the holidays. Happening around town this weekend, you'll be able to learn a few tips on holiday eating and entertaining. From the Taste of Home Cooking School, we have Chef Amanda Wilson joining us in studio right now. She'll be on stage tomorrow at UB Center for the Arts. This is a huge event. You have a big following. Taste of Home has a huge following. We do 250 events a year fall and spring. Pretty much every weekend. Every weekend. During the week also we do shows. We do shows mainly Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And what so. are the shows usually like for someone that hasn't been out yet? A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there is a little bit of cooking involved, of course, because I'm up there demoing the recipes, but we have a ton of giveaways. You can come to a Taste of Home show knowing that your chances of walking home, not only with a, a goodie bag mm -hmm. that the, you will get at the venue, but a chance to win either a recipe that we actually do on stage. So you get to um, try it. You get to try it. Go. I Absolutely. always feel so bad for our viewers here on the show because we make all this delicious food in the kitchen, but there's really no way for us to share with them. This yes. is different. Well, you you have to win you the dish to try, to try it. You might get to try it. You might get to try it. Yes. We don't want to make any problems and people start yelling. Yeah. So they can uh, win. We do a recipe showcase at the end of the show where people who were in the audience can actually go home with one of the recipes that um, we demoed and completed. Excellent. And if not that, then a lot of door prizes from our, our national sponsors like Chicken Soup for the Soul has a really wonderful gift basket this year. There's soup, there are coffee mugs, there are oven mitts, there's a book. It's one of the, I like to say that it's, uh, I'm going to stay inside my house day and just have soup and have some coffee and just curl up on the couch. It's that kind of a, a gift basket and a lot of other stuff to give away too. And they're giving away the appliances this year. Amazing. Are you finding that as the foodie culture grows here in Western New York, it is really growing. I don't know about other cities that you mm -hmm. visit in the country, but that more and more people are coming out to events like this because they want to get better at cooking? Yes. And I love to see and hear that because I, I still think it, with as many outlets as there are for people to learn how to cook. I, for me, even though I'm a professional most of the time, <laughs> I feel like I can never stop learning. So once you stop learning, you stop living. So to have um, places like this where people can come, get new tips, even if you walk away with just one small piece of new knowledge, then it's worth it. And then you can apply it in your kitchen, share it with your friends, and just integrate it into your everyday cooking life. Absolutely. And what will you be cooking tomorrow on stage? We do, we're doing 10 recipes. Wow. I will start off with a soft beer pretzel. Nice. And then we will do a lot of all-in-one dishes, which are great for fall and great for busy families. And then we will end with a gingerbread cheesecake. Delicious. And cloaked with chocolate. Absolutely delicious. Yes. The and people might be able to try all of these recipes. If yes. They go. We will give away. All um, 10. We call recipe showcase. So somebody will go home with the cheesecake, somebody will go home with soft pretzels, somebody will go home with our lasagna, our stuffed acorn squash. So How fun. The Taste yeah. of Home Cooking School will be tomorrow, that's mm -hmm. Saturday, November 1st at UB Center for the Arts. Break a leg. Do you get nervous before cooking in front of all those people? Um, no. You're used to it. Well, I mean, if I make a mistake, I just laugh at myself. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those. And I will make mistakes, but you just keep going. You just keep you know, going. You human. That's so. all you can do. Well, welcome to Buffalo. Thanks Thank so much you. for being here, and Thanks. good luck tomorrow. We appreciate it. It's Thank time you. right now for our hashtag of the week. Here is our web producer, Emily Lenahan.